The Top 10 Most Expensive Cars in the World Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to a special video. As you may have realized from the title, today we're ranking the top 10 most expensive cars in the world right now. It took us a while to make this video because we had to dig deeper in order to have the most accurate ranking possible. If you look around the web, you'll find millions of versions of this top 10, and to deliver actual value, we had to make sure ours is the best one. So for those wondering, what did we look for? We started off by looking at all the cars sold at auction, all the incredibly rare cars on the market right now, took their prices and even adjusted some of them for inflation to see what an accurate portrayal would be like. As of publishing this video, we are certain there are no other cars that have been sold in public auction or where the payout amount is available to the general public. If you watch till the end, we'll get a little bit into the private market, but for the sake of making this top 10 as accurate as possible, we focused on the cars for which you can find invoices. So what makes these cars so expensive? Generally, there are three criteria people look for when purchasing an incredibly valuable car. One, how rare the car is. How many of them are there in the world? Two, what kind of intangible value does the car possess, such as memorable races or anything that happened to the car? And ultimately, three, how much someone is willing to pay to make it theirs. These are not the type of cars you get to see driving around, but more like rare collectibles. These are pieces of art which, to be honest, appreciate in value even faster than premium art, such as paintings or sculptures, so it's easy to see why some people might consider them a wise investment. Alright, enough with the introduction. Let's take a look at the top 10 most expensive cars in the world. Number 10. The 1961 Ferrari 250 GT SWB California Spider, sold for $18.5 million. What if I told you that this $18.5 million car was accidentally discovered abandoned in a barn? A French transport magnate named Roger Bayon acquired a vast estate for the land, knowing that there are some old cars which were meant to be crushed when the barn would be taken down. To his surprise, he discovered around 100 rare cars which he wanted to showcase in his personal museum. 59 of the cars were put on sale and one of them was the exquisite 1961 Ferrari 250 GT SWB California Spider, which sold for a whopping $18.5 million. Only 37 of these babies were made and thankfully the car was in pretty good condition. Number 9. 1939 Alfa Romeo 8C 2900B Lungo Spider, sold for $19.8 million. This was the ultimate Italian luxury car of its generation. Just look at it! Amazing! This particular car is believed to be one of seven ever made, which managed to escape the war by being transported to Argentina. The parts were scattered and it took years to bring it back together to its original state. In 2016, it was finally put on the auction block and fetched a little under $20 million. Number 8. 1931 Bugatti Royale Kellner Coupe, worth $20.6 million. This car is worth $20.6 million, but it was actually sold for only $9.8 million. So why is it worth that much? You see, someone paid $9.8 million for it in 1987, yeah, 30 years ago. Just by adjusting that amount for inflation, we end up at over $20 million, without taking into account the appreciation value of the car itself, as it's attracted quite a lot of interest from collectors in the past couple of years. The 1931 Bugatti Royale Kellner Coupe just looks like the ultimate symbol of class and royalty, with beautifully designed bodywork, attention to detail unmatched in the 30s, and it just has that vibe like it's been taken out and preserved of the Great Gatsby times. It also happens to be the most valuable pre-war car in the world. Number 7. 1955 Jaguar D-Type, sold for $21.8 million. Nobody can deny that the Jaguar D-Type is one of the most noteworthy racing cars ever made. Through innovation and design, Jaguar managed to win the Le Mans race in 1955, 1956, and 1957. This particular car is the winner of the 1956 24-hour Le Mans race. It defeated the team of Aston Martin, which at the time were considered the favorites. The car completed over 4,000 kilometers. That's 2,500 miles for those who have not made enough progress to use the metric system just yet. At an average speed of 168 kilometers per hour, 104.4 miles per hour for those who are still confused. If you add to this heritage the fact the car was almost in perfect condition and you end up with a $21.8 million car. 
Quick mention, the amount paid for the car itself was $19.8 million, to which there were almost $2 million of auction fees, making the total to be $21.8. Number 6. 1964 Ferrari 275 GTB C Special, sold for $26.4 million. The price of this car has been going up every year for the past few years. It has to do with the fact that only three were handmade by Ferrari. Yes, you heard us right, these cars were made by hand, piece by piece, which translates into collectible holy grail. The other two are very unlikely to go on sale anytime soon, so collectors lined up to outbid each other for this incredible car. To be honest, the person who bought it for $26.4 million got a really great deal for the car, as we expect that price to reach $50 million in about 10 years or so. Number 5. The 1967 Ferrari 275 GTB4 Nart Spider, sold for $27.5 million. At the special request of North America's largest importer, Ferrari made 10 open-top 275s. At the previous number, we told you people are going crazy for these, didn't we? For those of you wondering, NART stands for North American Racing Team, devised by Luigi Cinetti, a former Le Mans winner. He believed that an open-top model would spark a little more demand, so he ordered 25 from Ferrari. Due to the lack of general interest, the company put together only 10, eight of which were sold to Luigi. These cars were put on sale for prices between $8,000 and $14,500 US. Mind-blowing, right? It was around this time that Steve McQueen's Nart Spider was totaled, and the movie star, probably the coolest guy in the world back then, was in the market for another one. So quite a bit of interest sparked between him and the current owner for this last one. Long story short, Eddie, the rightful owner, refused to sell the car. Ralph Lauren even flew in to take the car for a spin, but couldn't agree on a price. After his death in 2007, Eddie Jr. put the car up for sale and it was acquired for $27.5 million. Number 4. The 1956 Ferrari 290 MM, sold for $28 million. This beauty was built for a Formula One driver by the name of Juan Manuel Fangio, considered by many to be one of the greatest Formula One racers of all time. Only 4,290 MMs were ever built, and although the vehicle had a long storied racing career that lasted until 1964, it never crashed. After being retired, the car traded hands of multiple collectors. In December 2015, it traded hands once again for the incredible amount of $28 million, making it one of the most expensive Ferrari cars in the world. Number 3. The 1954 Mercedes-Benz W196, sold for $29.6 million. Let's get this out of the way. This is the most expensive Mercedes-Benz car in the world right now. This car made history, and owning it is owning a part of that. What do you think it feels like to own a part of automotive history? Some might say priceless, while others might say $29.6 million. When it sold in 2013, it immediately became the most expensive car in existence. This particular one was driven by Juan Manuel Fangio. This 1954 Grand Prix race car won 9 out of the 12 races it entered, making it one of the most important pieces of automotive history. Add to that that there were only 10 ever made, but this is the only one in complete condition, which only adds to its value. Number 2. The 1957 Ferrari 335S sold for $35.7 million. Probably one of the most beautiful cars ever made, and if you don't agree, we're judging you for poor taste in premium cars. Only four Ferrari 335S Spider Scalietti's were ever produced, and this one has been in the hands of a private French collector for more than 40 years, with collectors lined up to get their shot of owning it. Despite its incredible price point, the buyer cannot use the vehicle on the roads, as it was designed purely for racing, and even if it was road legal, who in their right mind would take it out of a safe and clean environment? So, who would pay $35.7 million for a car? The owner is none other than the best football player the world has ever seen, Lionel Messi. Number 1. The 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO, sold for $38.1 million. This is it, Aluxers. The most expensive car in the world is the 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO, which was sold at Boehm's Lodge auction for $38.1 million. Being the most expensive car in the world right now, we want to go a little bit deeper into its history. This particular car was the 19th 250 GTO Ferrari made, and it was made specifically for the 1962 Tour de France. Joe Schlesser, experienced French driver, managed to finish second in it, making the car a part of the automotive history. 
The car proved not to be the lucky charm for Henri Aurier, who crashed the car later that same year during a race near Paris at Monterey. The crash killed the driver and totaled the car. Seizing the opportunity, Italian businessman and Ferrari enthusiast Fabrizio Villati purchased the car and completely restored it. The automobile became one of his most prized possessions within his personal gallery in San Marino, also known as the Marinello Rosso Collection. For 49 years, the car was with Violati, who showcased and raced the rare Ferrari at different high-end events in Europe. The price of the car was expected to go down due to the crash in 1962, but it ended up adding to its overall value, even more so considering it was the property of such an important figure for almost its entire existence. In 2010, Fabrizio Violati died, and the family decided to sell the entire collection to a group of investors for a total price of $100 million. The 250 GTO ended up selling for $38.1 million in August of 2014, and since, no other car has been sold publicly for more than that. We know this video might have been a little bit long, but with a topic like this one, it would seem unfair to just mention the name and the price tag, while ignoring all the history behind these incredible pieces of automobile history. If you were to pick a Luxors, what would you say is the most beautiful car in the world? Please let us know in the comments. As we mentioned in the introduction of this video, we can only rank what we can prove, which brings us to one last car we wanted to share with you guys. There have been rumors that another 250 GTO has been sold behind closed doors for, wait for it, $52 million, which would make it the most expensive car ever sold. These rumors have never been publicly confirmed, which only makes us wonder how much would our ranking differ if we had insights into all the private dealings which were finalized behind closed doors. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.